Okay, let's go to do the second property today. You know, if I do not work any uh, proper videos last two weeks now, I can make a thousands a day. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, let's go back to the serious work because after 40, 45 minutes, I need to be in another place. So I'm in the village of Maslarevo. It's public, uh, it's Polsky Trombesh municipality and a lot of people knows. Uh, it's became popular last two, three years with a, a lot of German interested because the property are not so expensive here and uh, the Germans are new clients for the Bulgarian market and uh, they decided to be concentrated in that area, especially this village, because they don't want to uh, take a big risk if they don't know the country like Bulgaria. So they bought the properties here from 10,000, 8,000, 15,000, 20,000 euro depend from the condition and that's why they experience and I think as far as I know they love it you know so yeah the property you're going to put on the market is this one you can see it's a main house plus additional extra like a room with a shed as well and part of it is a barn so while I'm here I'm going to zoom for you uh, maybe before I zoom for you I'll show you the boundaries so this is the red a bit more uh, rusty gate it's which is the axis at the back of the house so the boundaries start from there follow the house plus going up to this like a small shed building and actually the boundary finish where the bricks finish so the garage and the other stuff is belong to other property so from here all the way up to the first door including the first door you can see the fence is good stone foundation from here uh, yes stone foundation and a proper bricks above some of the tiles missing there so it's uh, like a mud but the mud was used here to to glue the tiles so obviously this is not part of the proper fence so the fence will stay this last a long time even if you don't put a proper proper cover it this is the building the the fence proper one you can have a look and see and again again somebody's follow me i feel scared from this guy here you know okay let's have a look the houses stone foundation plus the bricks and the condition of the buildings it's really 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 good and this gate is involved, involved as like a driveway here look at the bricks the walls really good condition and the bricks called uh, single bricks with a one channel really good one you remember while i'm here let's zoom underneath the roof the roof doesn't look bad at all and we are when we're going inside the house you're going to have a look and see there's a problem with one of the floors in one of the bedrooms but not with the with the with the roof let me go a bit further here so i can show you the roof from this side first at the back because otherwise i need to go to the neighbor if i want to show the roof properly but from here i think i got a good one option let's zoom it properly and look at this we are jump on the roof now and it looks good in my opinion and you can trust your eyes or trust my talk just depend what you're going to choose and just a few rich tiles missing on the corner there otherwise all the rest is good and even the back is good let me try to show you from here the extra building which including as i mentioned to you a room where the chimney is plus a shed and a barn the roof doesn't look bad at all only the end the bottom has some bendy bendy uh, wooden sticks and beams maybe but uh, we'll see how the condition is there and i think there was one kind of a problem with a few tiles here the hole but we're going to see when we go at the back in the garden so all the rest for so far doesn't look bad and the property looks strong enough let's going to show this slope from this side now and then we are going inside okay uh the location of the house by the way itself in the village is not bad at all first of all because you have this open hill view and it's you can see from the garden there as well proper asphalt road and the same time the square of the village is over there you can maybe see where the satellite uh, antennas are but the same time you're on a quiet 
a direction here, yeah? So it's not on the main road the same time as a good access and quiet and you're in only, I can say, three minutes walk. Um, you can reach in five minutes a proper shop as well. By the way, in the village got two shops. One is like a supermarket, it's really good. Look at the roof, this slope. A few rich tiles again missing. You can have a look and see them. Around the chimney, the situation doesn't look so bad. And uh, some of other rich tiles, they are there obviously, and missing it again in the corner. So need to be replaced and need to be at some rich tiles plus replastered properly. Okay, so let's go and have a look what we have inside. And I can say that there is neighbors living there permanently, neighbors living there permanently, which is good, but all the houses are faced this way and it's not, not overlooked. Um, here we got the garden. So obviously, as I mentioned to you, the fence finished this way here and finish here. So this is the neighbor, like uh, the neighbor garage, concrete slope. So this is the boundary going all the way down there. You know, before I go to show the boundary, I'll be come here and trying to hide myself from the sun and to be able to zoom the roof and show to you. Okay, look at this. In my opinion, 85% up to 90% of the roof is in a good condition. The gutters doesn't look bad at all as well. Just neat checks, but doesn't look like they are rusty. But there's no pipes. As you can see, there should be a pipe to lead the water away from the house, not going next to it. This is the other slope. You can have a look. Let's jump on the other one here again and the rich tiles. Doesn't look bad, you know, at all. And I will do my best. The problem is the sun, but I'll do my best to show as much as possible proper one here. Okay, I think you can have a look and see it. Good, I like the options to jump on the roof. You know, with this zoom, really clear. Proper one, okay. Let's go and see. Now, if you remember, I mentioned to you that there is a building here, like a room, like a shed and a small barn here. We are going to see there and let's zoom the slope of this roof, this side. And you can see it doesn't look bad at all. Uh, only it's not a proper rich tiles. It's uh, the Turkish tiles has been used like a, old Turkish tile has been used like a, like a rich tile. So in my opinion, this should be changed. If it's me, I'm going to change, you know? So the roof is not bad at all. Let's go and have a follow the, the boundary now. So the roadside there, then the garage of the neighbor, and then this wall here. And this is the back of neighbor house, or you can see there is about maybe one meter from, one meter inside from the neighbor's house wall with a metal mesh, mesh which is missing, obviously. So this one is the boundary where the concrete posts are. So it's clear, it's keep like, a, you can see here is become a bit wider, like follow this, this way here. Okay, and this one is the boundary. We're going to have a look. Obviously it's a neighbor's house, which is occupied as well, um, but it's at the backside. So it's not overlook the garden of the property we are going to sell now. The fence continue here. Then we got this here and you can see the view, beautiful one. And this is the neighbor, other neighbor house, which is a bit faced there, no window this side. Uh, obviously there's a garden here, so they can have a look here, but I don't think it's, it's, it's uh, that much bad. And also you can see the metal mesh here, if you put a proper, like even live fence, as we said, put some bushes here or a timber, timber uh, wall will be brilliant and you won't have any visible from that neighbors as well. So this gives the total privacy of the property. From this side, we got from here, the corner, follow the metal mesh all the way. So this is obviously the other neighbor side, which is just the land but the main house of the neighbor is exactly at the back of the house we are going to put on the market now, which again confirm us, you got a proper surroundings by neighbors with the occupied area, house there, occupied house here, occupied house there, but 
it's not overlooked. Only this small piece of land, a piece of um, a land which could be covered by a proper fence and not expensive one. So it can give you almost, let's say, 100% of the, of the privacy. From there, follow. Here we got like all this metal mesh up to there. So I think this one is not bad and you don't need to change at the very beginning because the house is just behind this one, you know? And we got all this like a driveway, in my opinion, and it's a good proper driveway. So even you can use this one for tractors to come and to go and to plow in your land. Let's see, this is the door, the gate we discuss. This is where it's finished. And you can have a look and see the road outside yeah okay so we are at the back we did so the house foundation stone foundation let's have a quick look of the house back wall which is amazing straight one you can put a insulation or rendering and do it to look nice and white or any other color while i'm here I'll, again you can have a look and see this tree causes some problems there which just need to cut the tree and fix put a few tiles plus put a gutter there otherwise you can have a look and see underneath it's a looks good condition even there is a, some kind of a newer uh, wooden stick you know which has been put but definitely need a gutter in my opinion let's go and have a look over this side okay yeah oh my god it's always by my telephone is just put me okay now good let's have a look this at the back again and have a look the extra building the room shed and barn look at this is stone foundation plus the bricks and you got the mud bricks about 60 70 centimeters of mud bricks which are not in a bad condition at all but in my opinion here you can see there was a maybe I don't know what kind of a problem was here because it doesn't look like it looks like a leak because you can see the mud is washed. Okay, so these beams are not good, obviously. Otherwise, you can see why the roof is bendy here because of the it's a cracked tiles. This is where the problem comes. See the cracked tiles and all these leaks here definitely cause it. Otherwise, all the rest is not bad condition at all. And you can have a look and see this, and you can be confirmed about this. So this end here need to be repaired. Like you can have a look and see here, the wall is not bad at all. But again, the problems with the roof, this side, missing tiles, cause this wash of the wall. Thanks God there's uh, two thirds of the wall is a proper brick. So it's still there and it could be fixed. Otherwise, you can see the roof itself, main part, is not bad at all. Only the ends of the roof never been looked after. Because this one, if this one got a gutter, that will never happen, you know. Definitely will never happen. Okay, ah, we got one more roof slope never been shown. This one. Let me zoom for you now. Okay. We are here and again confirmation that the roof needs a proper rich tiles. The one who, which can be used now just need to be removed and replastered and the one which missing need to be at on the place where it's missing need to be at plus gutters. This is the conclusion I can have and you got access from this door here to the one. It's like a, this is the barn, this is the shade where the door is and this is the room. We're going to have a look and see it now so again quick one about the fence so the property start from there all the way up down to there turn right and then follow the concrete post uh, this is the back of the neighbor side and it goes next to the neighbor's garage and including this wall you know so let me show you here, yeah, we did show this one. This one needs fixing, definitely. Otherwise, look at the structure. Good bricks structure, really good brick structure. It's only shame that there is a few tiles they are missing and cracked, you know? So this is the shade. This is the room. We're going to see the room 
when we're going to the main house. So while we are here still, I can show you this is the problem about the door caused by the cracked tiles there. So still we got, thanks God we got this beam. So all will remove and demolish up to the beam. Nothing, nothing further down. So this one can be used as a foundation, the concrete beam to rebuild, okay? Otherwise not a problem at all. Oh, look at this. The roof is really good. And it's shame that it's been left without gutters and it's been left without this uh, tiles to be checked on time but it's still everything looks really good i'll show you as much as possible so you can have a look and see this still looks really really good which confirmed that it's worth to fix very quick and cheap while it's in this condition and look at here as well all the beams strong enough really good yes and look at the mud bricks inside so obviously we got you can have a look and see we got the proper bricks this side here and then mud bricks which is making the building first of all much much stronger and second insulated and warmer and i can feel it compared with the weather outside you know beautiful i like this way of building and you can see from inside nothing's happened so obviously we got half of the wall the second part of the wall which is outside missing here it been washed here it's not washed at all look at this it's not washed at all and you remember there was a problem in the corner there and a problem here so it's still everything fixable good i'm really happy with this construction you know let me show you the building down there and then we're going to the second video to see what we have inside this uh, house you know i can imagine if it's a different color so we got this as a, is it an outside toilet? No, it's, it's yeah, I think so. It's something like storage, maybe, or bathroom or what. Maybe it used to be a bathroom because I can see this pipe. Maybe there was a boiler to heat the water here. So it could be like a shed, tool shed now, you know? It's strong enough, just need rendering. Otherwise it's not bad at all. You can have a look and see. Yeah, and it could be a good tool shed. And you got this beautiful view not bad at all open view a quick look again of the land the house and then we go to the second video